previously on The Influencer Show. Here's how we get you to be uncanceled, baby. You're gonna come out and say that you have a micro penis. We're gonna get you officially diagnosed so no one can question you. Your appointment's in an hour. I'm gonna go uh, take a walk. Yeah, take a walk. Yeah! All right, man, you're all set up. Tonight you make your first post and you are going to be a successful influencer in no time. I don't know, man. Is it worth it? I mean, look at all these people. No one's even looking at the ocean. You know, we're in this beautiful paradise and everybody's just glued to their phones, obsessed with themselves. Yeah, social media can make you a little bit more obsessed with yourself. But the truth is, is that the upsides way outweigh the negatives. Like, Facebook helped people overthrow governments. Really? But that was over 10 years ago. Now they just basically sell people's data online. But Sam, can I tell you a story? Sure. Last month, I made a post telling people that I've slept with literally tens of thousands of women all over the world, tens of thousands, 20,000 maybe, if I'm honest with you, maybe even 60,000 or more. And that maybe monogamy isn't for everyone. Once you've had one STD, you probably had them all. And hashtag pimpin' ain't easy. It really weighs on your soul. And after I made that post, a young man messaged me. And he said, you know what? Brandon, you're a pig. I used to look up to you, but now, I realized that you have no idea what true intimacy is really like. And while I was offended at first, he went on to say that he went back to his ex-girlfriend and he told her, I could never be a pimp like Brandon B. Branding. I don't have the swag. And he asked her, will you marry me? And she said, yes. And that the truth is, is we can do so much good and impact the world in a positive way. And if it wasn't for me, Kevin Pompano from Missouri, wouldn't have gotten back with his ex-girlfriend. So there you have it. When you make a post telling the world that you have a micro penis, and that's the reason that you lashed out in a fit of ignorant racism, then you're gonna be inspiring guys with micro dinguses all over the world and become a famous influencer in no time. I don't have many other options, so if it doesn't, I'm super screwed. I promise you, you are gonna be a famous influencer probably by tomorrow. Uh, Brandon, someone's filming you. Yo, wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! You trying to bust a POC? A photo without consent? It's me, silly. Rachel Yogini 6. I was literally just thinking about you. Because I saw your post just now about how important your followers were, and I was so touched because I'm one of your devoted followers. And then I saw that you were on the beach, and when I zoomed in and saw that shack in the background, I figured I knew exactly where you were. And so I came all this way, even though I was across town. Uh, and now I'm here running into you. And maybe that's fate? Or just coincidence? Isn't that so wild? It's so great to see you. Yeah. Cray Cray. Anyway, Sam and I, we were actually just heading out. You know what I love this. about what you just said? About inspiring your followers? Is that... You've inspired me, Brandon, and I feel like I inspired you. So get the fuck out of here. We should totally do a bit together. I just came up with this dance move for TikTok. It's called the stalker walk. <laughs> Watch. No, bro. Whoa, whoa. What? Okay. Set to the right music. That is going to go hashtag viral. Guaranteed. Okay, yeah, I'm really excited for you, but like I said, Sam and I, we have to get totally, going. We cannot totally, stay here with you. Totally, totally, totally. How about a quick selfie for the gram? <laughs> I'll tag you in it and tell my followers to follow you, and then you can repost and tell your followers to follow me. Oh, yeah, she is a lot. She's been trying to make it on social media for years now. It is just so sad. Years? Yeah. People do this for years and don't find success. Yeah. Dude, what if that happens to me? Oh, no, Sam, that would never happen to you, okay? You've got me and Jeremy. We are experts at building people's brands online. You're never gonna end up like her, 100%. Mine is maybe 35%. At least she's happy. Happy? Yeah. Like one flew over the cuckoo's nest happy? Maybe. Okay. 
Sam, are you ready for your first post? Let's do this. Recording. Okay. All right. <clears throat> What's up, what's up? Oh, don't do that. Hi, my name's Sam. I sound like an idiot. Yo, what's up, my name's Sammy Sizzle, cause I sizzle like, what am I doing? I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. Thanks for watching me uh, alone in my room, talking to myself like I'm a schizophrenic. You know, I imagine once I put myself out here, I'm just gonna get crushed by internet trolls who think that I'm just this awful racist, don't, don't talk about the race. Don't, don't, don't talk about it. Elephant in the room. I am not a racist. Okay? It was a giant misunderstanding. Who am I defending myself to? A, 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 a bunch of strangers on the internet? My wife, ex-wife, is black. You understand? I'm not racist. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for what I did. I mean, I'm, I'm not for... What I did isn't something racist because, I again... I'm not racist, okay? I'm just, I'm sorry for the way that I handled it. I used to be a teacher, on track for tenure, actually. And most of my students really liked me. And um, last year, by sheer, <laughs> insane, unfathomable bad luck, on the final exam, all nine out of the 26 students in my class that were black failed the test. And it immediately raised eyebrows which I get. People got upset at me because they thought I intentionally failed the black students in my class, which I did not. However, when I was confronted with that accusation, I acted poorly and I was immature and arrogant and self-righteous and, and angry, mostly angry, which I know I shouldn't have been. And I offended a lot more people. And I really, really, really wish I had. I really do. And now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do at all. I lost my career, my marriage, my dignity, and my sense of belonging in the world. And I, I'm, 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 I'm not saying I'm a victim. Or... I have a micro penis, and it made me so insecure that I lashed out in an intolerant, racist, ignorant way, and I am so, 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 so very sorry. I've done a lot of work on myself lately, and uh, now I am really proud to say that I have one. You know, even though, you know, having sex is basically just like dry humping. You know, and when I pee, there's just nothing to hold on to, so it kind of just sprays everywhere. And when I'm naked, I, you know, I look like a a Ken doll, basically, you know, I mean, it, it's so tiny, you know, you could barely see it. You know, it's like, you know, it's more like a, like a, like a nub or a bump or like a, like a, like a knuckle on your finger, you know, um, but it's my knuckle, you know, it's mine and it's me. It's who I am. And, uh, I'm a victim too, you know, and I hope whoever hears this can see that I too have suffered and that my life is nothing more than a complete and utter mess. And I'm just a human, you know, having a human experience with a baby sized teeny weeny tiny little penis and it sucks. It sucks. And, um, thanks for listening. And the babies to the doctor. Oh my God, the doctor missed it. Oh my God, oh my God. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, hey Sam, how did it go? Guys, 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 guys. We cannot put this out in the world. We cannot post this. I just said it to you. <laughs> Sam, are you joking? You are natural. Okay, now all we need to do is just upgrade your brand. I was thinking that maybe we can change your username to something like, like Cringy Sam. Oh, yeah, that it's taken. What about Cringy Guy One? That's mm. good. Oh, my cousin has a little one too. He calls it his mini milkman, and he is so sad. All just right, like look, you. Just adding some hashtags, some effects, some music. Boom. Oh my. 
This video is so freaking perfect. Okay, okay, let's just take a second, let's breathe, and let's just hash this out a little more and make sure we're making the right decision. And posted. What? Boom! You posted it? Why would you post it? Sam, you're gonna be so happy that we did this. You have literally nothing to live for. It's only up from here. This is literally the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Cry. Oh my god, that was so funny. Ah, look at the kitty I put. He's gonna cry again. Like, actually, let's get some footage on him. Can you record him real okay, quick? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, get him. This is the first day of the rest of your life, Sam. What do you got to say? Sam. It's so Sam. awesome. He can just like cry on cue. You should be an actor. I have a micro penis. Oh my god, there's a hurricane. Woo! Watch yourselves.